Shalom, Shalom, Yashael, Israel. This is No Saint Left Behind once again. First, I just want to say, Kawala Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rikar Kodash. That's all praises to the Most High in the name of His Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, so, um, and also, uh, double honors to the apostles, a uh, great millstone and the elders as well. Shalom to the hopeful elect out there. You know, to your brothers and sisters been faithful to this word. That's rehearsing these law, statutes, commandments to the best of their ability. And to you brothers that's doing the will of the Most High. Out there on the highways and byways and making these videos, you know, for the elect of Israel. So I want to get in on uh, Cleflo Dollar. This dumb, ignorant nigga. This wolf in sheep clothing. This nigga talking about... The commandments is the, the devil wants you to keep the commandments. This nigga just done gone, man. You know, this is nothing but a wolf in sheep clothing, man. I don't know what's, man, these false pastors out here, man. That's why the Bible tells us that the Most High said that Yahweh said he would give you pastors according to his heart. You know, and Cleflo Dollar ain't one of those pastors. You know, the men that the Most High have given you are out there in the highways and byways. Starting with the apostles of Great Millstone and the others and the other Akim out there with likewise doctrine. So let's get into this, man. Listen to this old sheep, this old wolf in sheep clothing. Um, it may be a little confusion because in the King James it says the wages of sin is death. And yet in the mirror Bible it says the rewards of the law is death. Now you hear him mention the mirror Bible and then he say the King James. You know what I'm saying? So he's saying the, the books say two different things. All right. But first of all, we stick with the 1611 King James. You know, that was the one that the Most High allowed um, um, the King, King James, you know, to uh, gather the men. He allowed King James to sanction it, to be translated into uh, uh, out of Hebrew and Greek into, you know, the English tongue that we have today, which is the 1611 King James. And, excuse me and then he's mentioning other books but let's get this scripture right quick let's see what the scripture said about another book let's go to Isaiah if it, if it ain't this word if it ain't the 1611 King James man it's worthless and you don't need no other book you know to confirm the word of the most high that's all you need is this right here let's go to King James I mean uh, yeah Isaiah 34, 16. This is all you need. And it reads, it says, Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. No one, no one of these shall fail. The Most High says, Seek out of this book, this 1611, and read. Because none of these prophecies, nothing in this book is going to fail. None shall want her mate. There's nothing that you can compare to this Bible. There's nothing that can make this Bible. This Bible, this word of the Most High stands alone. Stands alone and by itself. These are the holy scriptures, man. These are the words out of the Father's mouth through the prophets. For my mouth it have commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. So the Most High said, this is a commandment. This is a commandment from the Most High to read out of this book. And, and not to be dealing in those other books, man, because it says none should want his mate. There's nothing that compared to this book. So you should only be reading out the 1611 King James anyway. Death. Well, how do you hook that together? Well, first of all, understand the devil is not trying to get you to sin. He's just trying to get you to keep the law, because if he can get you to keep the law, you will sin. Uh, you know how stupid he sound, man? Said the devil is not trying to, <laughs> the devil is trying to get you to keep the law so you can sin. So he's saying if you don't keep the law, you don't sin. But the law is the one that shows you where you go wrong at. The law show you your sin. So without the law, you don't have sin. The Most High gave us a law. So we'll know what not to do. It ain't got nothing to do with the devil. <laughs> the law is righteous as the word says 
And the Bible said that the, that, that the law, that the commandments are life. This man done bumped his head. You see, Romans chapter 7 says, For without the law, sin was dead. There is no sin without a law. There's no transgression of a speed limit if there's, first of all, not a law that gives you a limit, a speed limit. So without the law, there is no sin. Without the law, sin will have no opportunity. And what many people think, they think Satan's trying to get you to sin. And Satan's trying to tempt you to do this or to do that. No, no. All he's trying to get you to do is to keep the law. Man, this, this, this is a straight up fool. He's talking about Satan is trying to get you to keep the law. Nigga, he is dumb. That's what Yahweh Shah is. She try so in other words, he calling who you even call Jesus, Yahweh Shah is Satan. That's what Yahweh Shah wants you to do. Let's go to the scriptures, man. Let's go to Matthew. This man has bumped his head. Satan don't want you to keep the law. Satan's job is to go is to get you to go against the law. The Bible said that he's the accuser of the brethren. How can he accuse you if you're keeping the law? Dumb nigga, man. Let's go to Matthew 5, man. I'm about to be everywhere. 5 and 17. Let's see what Yahweh Shai had to say. And it's in red. Let me highlight. I'm going to read all the way to 20. I highlight this stuff every time I read it and it still disappears. Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. Do you hear what the Messiah Yahweh Shai said? He said he didn't come to destroy the law. The law was the Old Testament, which is the first five books. And then he said, all the prophets, the prophets is all the other books. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Isaiah, uh, um, Isaiah, Ezekiel, uh, Zephaniah, Malachi, uh, Zechariah, Hosea. Like th those are the prophets. He said, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Yahweh Shah said he came to fulfill the law. But the only thing of the law, he came to fulfill what was written of him. That's what he came to fulfill. But listen, let's keep going. Verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So we still have heaven and earth. Heaven and earth is still here. So the law still stands. He said it will not pass one jot or one tittle. Read it again. He says, verse 18, For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So heaven and earth is still here. So the law is still standing. The whole law haven't even been fulfilled yet. He said not even one jot or one tittle should in no wise pass from the law. So what is this clown talking about? Talking about we don't need the law, man. Satan is trying to get you to keep the law. Verse 19, this nigga's stupid. Whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments. This is Yahweh Shai talking. Now this is what he said. If you break one of the least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. So, that's what Cleflo Dollar is doing. Cleflo is breaking the commandments perf on, pur on purpose. On purpose. And he's teaching men to break the law. So, the Yahweh Shah says right here that you're going to be called least in the kingdom of heaven. He's saying that if you break the law, you're going to be called least in the kingdom of heaven. So, what is Cleflo Dollar talking about? But listen, verse 19. But whosoever shall do and teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So Yahweh Shah said, if you do the law to the best of your ability and you keep them and you teach men to do it, you're going to be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So that's what we do. We teach you to rehearse the law to the, to the best of your ability, man. You got to rehearse the law. You got to keep the law to the best of your ability. You can't just do away with the law. The law still stands. But it just now said, Yahweh Shah said, I'm going to start again at verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments 
and shall teach men so, the same shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So if you're breaking the law and you teaching men to break it, you're going to be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And what do he mean by be called least in the kingdom of heaven? Let's go to Daniel real quick. Daniel 12, and I think too. Daniel 12 and 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. So this is the most high talking to Daniel. He said many that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Excuse me. Everybody that has passed away or that sleep, we call them dead or that, that have died. Everybody is going to wake, especially every so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American. You Israelites and confused the faces, we all going to wake up in the last. All right. And this is what it says. Some to everlasting life. Some going to be woken up to everlasting life. That means, you know, they're going to enjoy the glory. You know, they're going to be on a high. You're going to have you're going to have classes of Israelite. You know, say so you're going to have the super rich and you're going to have a, like like a medium class Israelite. But they still going to be better off than the rest of the world. But they're not going to be better off than the 144,000 and one third of those that rehearsed the, the law, statutes, commandments. Look at what it says. Verse 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. So what do you mean by you're going to wake up to shame or everlasting contempt? That's because you're going to be called least in the kingdom of heaven. If you're breaking the law and you're teaching men to break the law, you're going to be called least in the kingdom of heaven, which means when, when you see one of the one of the brothers from the elect, one, the 144,000 or the elect, that one third, you're going to have your head down in everlasting contempt. You're going to remember that uh, you didn't re keep, you didn't keep the law, statute, commandments. And you're going to see them glowing because they rehearsed it and kept it. Now, that's your everlasting shame and contempt. When you do, everybody's, all Israelites are going to be delivered. They're going to be saved. But it's only going to be 144,000 in the one third that's going to be uh, caught up in the chariots. The, the two thirds of Israel are going to pass away. They're going to die. But they're going to be born back into the kingdom. And when they're born back into the kingdom, they're going to be born into shame and everlasting content. That means they're going to be called least in the kingdom. They're going to be so-called the middle class. Which means they're going to be above the rest of the world, the rest of the nations. But they're not going to be on the level of the 144,000 in the elect. Verse 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Firmament. And they that be wise, that's the ones that kept the law, statutes, commandments to the best of their ability. And you can get that. We can go to Revelation and get that. Hold on. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. So the Bible is showing you that, you know, the men that's rehearsing the law, statutes, commandments and teaching men. So they're going to they're going to be they're going to be uh, wise. They're going to shine. They're going to be exalted. Like the star, you're gonna be on high, man. You're not gonna be like the the cleft low dollars and the people that followed him that didn't want to rehearse the law, statutes, commandments. You know they're gonna be in everlasting shame and content. You know, and we can get that right. As a matter of fact, let's go here. Let's jump around. Let's go to Revelations right quick. Matter of fact, let's go to Revelations. Let me show you the ones that that rehearsed the law, statutes, commandments. Revelations are. 14 and 12. Let's see what this says. And here, and here, and hold on. Revelation 14 and 12. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh and of the and the faith of Yahweh Shah. Let me see. And the smoke of the other received the mark of the Okay. So when, when the Bible say it says here's the patience of the saints, that means these the ones patience means to go through things. So these are the ones that was rehearsing the law, statutes, commandments. These are the ones that was delivered. Here are the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh in the faith of Yahweh Shah. And that's gonna and this right here is talking about those that's not gonna take 
you know, uh, the, the mark of the beast and the things of that and the image of the beast, the ones that was stand faithful to the end. That was rehearsing these law, statutes, commandments, because the Bible teaches you not to take the um, the RFID microchip, and so that's a part of the commandments. The Bible tells you that you can't put a cutting in your in your flesh, and to receive that mark, you got to put a cutting in your flesh anyway, which is the RFID microchip. Now let's go to uh, Revelations 22. This is the one I really wanted. Revelations 22 and 14. All right, and it says. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the cities. So the Bible is telling you that the only way you're going to get into the kingdom of the most high is by what? Rehearsing these law, statutes, commandments. Look what it says. This is the last book of the Bible in the last chapter. Revelation 22 and 14. It's like you. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life. The tree of life is who? Yahweh Shah. So in order to have rights to Yahweh Shah, you got to be what? Rehearsing the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. And may enter in through the gates into the city. And that's heaven. So if you're not rehearsing these law, statutes, commandments, you're not even going to enter into heaven. So this Cleflo Dollar nigga is a fool. Let's go back to Matthew 5 and let's finish out. Matthew 5 and... um. 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of the one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. All right? Verse 20. For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall, you shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. And so what was the uh, Pharisees and scribes doing? The Pharisees and scribes was telling everybody to keep the law, statute, of commandments, keep the law, statute, of commandments, but they weren't keeping them themselves. And so that's what it mean by you should, uh, uh, let you su succeed the righteousness of the Pharisees and the scribes. You know, they was telling you don't eat pork, but they was eating pork. They was telling you that a man shouldn't wear a pocketbook. They had a pocketbook. You know, they was telling you that a man shouldn't deal with another man's woman. They was dealing with another man's woman. So that's what they was. They was being actors, which, which are hypocrites. All right. Now let's go to uh, Luke. Let's go to Luke 16 and 16. It says, the law and the prophets were until John. Since that, the time of the, since since that time, the kingdom of Yahweh is preached and every man presseth into it. Verse 17. This isn't read. This is Yahweh Shah talking. And it is easier for heaven and earth to pass than one tittle of the law to fail. So Yahweh Shah himself, who you even call Jesus, the Messiah, said it's easier for heaven and earth to pass than for a tittle of the law to fail. So he's telling you that you must rehearse these law, statutes, commandments, man. He's telling you, man. And y'all niggas that's following these wicked pastors, these wicked preachers, man. I'm telling you, man, y'all follow them into everlasting content, to destruction. Proverbs 14, uh, 4 and 14. You hear what the word says? Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. So y'all need to get up out these churches, man, and stop following these preachers, man. You know, y'all need to come out here to the highways and byways, you men, and start rehearsing these law, statutes, commandments and start teaching it. And you women need to be watching these videos and rehearsing these law, statutes, commandments and being faithful to your men to the best of your ability. All right, let's go to um, uh, Matthew 15. Matthew 15 and 14. And that read, let them, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. So if you follow in these pastors, then you, you, you've been led by the blind. And so he's not going, he's not only destroying himself, he's destroying you too. 
And that's why the most high said he would choose their delusion. So if you following these pastors and can't come up out of it, the most high did it to you anyway. Listen, let's go to fit, uh, 15 and 9. But in vain they do worship me, teaching, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. See, that's what the scri scribes and Pharisees did. They teaching the doctrines of men, the commandments of men. He's telling you what men say do. Instead of telling you to do what the Messiah, what the Most High Yahweh, His Son Yahweh Shah say do, which is rehearse, rehearse these laws, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability, man. Let's go to another video. And we'll come back to some more scriptures, man. I got a million scriptures for this dumb nigga. Let's go back here. This nigga is talking about you shouldn't have a relationship with the law, not even the Ten Commandments. This nigga is going crazy. That's why you Christians are wacko. We should hope for victory over sin. We should not have any relationship with the law, which is over 600 of them. So you hear what we just read. So he's saying you shouldn't have no relationship with the law if you want victory over sin. This nigga is stupid. Yeah, Howard Shy said keep the law. So he's not even teaching what Yahweh Shah taught. He's not even teaching the gospel. He's teaching what? The, the doctrine and commandment of the men. That's that theologian school he went to, this clown. Let's go to Isaiah right quick. We'll come back. Let's go to Isaiah 8 and 20. And it says, to the law... And to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. See, there's no light in this nigga. Because he's not teaching according to the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. He's teaching a totally different, different doctrine. This nigga is teaching the commandments of men. He's not teaching what the word says. That nigga had a, see that demon, that demon in him, that was, see, that demon in him was the one that was laughing. You know, that one was laughing, that demon in him. Matter of fact, let's go right here. Let's go to Matthews, uh, Matthews, um, seven and, uh, seven and four, seven and, let me see, 15. Matthew 7 and 15, this is Yahweh Shah speaking again. Be aware of false prophets. And that's what Clef Flo and T.D. Jakes and the rest of them niggas are, which come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly, they are raving wolves. And you seen that raving wolf in him laughing, that demon in his nigga laughing. talking about Jesus died to keep him to deliver him from the big ten and he is right that white Jesus that white Jesus Christ Cesar Bozier Cesar Bozier Cesar Bozier yeah but not Yahweh Shah the Yahweh Shah died for you to rehearse these laws statutes, and commandments and if the only way you can show the most high Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shah that you love him is by rehearsing these laws statutes, and commandments now let's go over here. Let's go to 1 John. I'm about to end. I'm going to read 1 John chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 2. And it says, 
1 John chapter 5, verse 2. By this we know that we love the children of Yahweh. When we love Yahweh and keep his commandments. So the only way you can even love the children of Yahweh, the only way you can love your brothers, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, is you got to rehearse these law, statutes, and commandments. Because to show you that I love my brother, if I rehearse these law, statutes, and commandments to the best of my ability, I'm not going to sleep with this woman. I'm not going to steal from him. I'm not going to kill him. You see what I'm saying? If he's down and out, I'm going to help him out. That's rehearsing the law, statutes, and commandments. See, if I didn't rehearse these law, statutes, and commandments, and if I did what Cleflo said, I'm going to rob this nigga. I'm going to sleep with his girl. You know what I'm saying? If he's down and out, I ain't going to help him. I'm going to kick him while he's down. See, that's what Christianity does, man. And that's what Christianity teaches you. The opposite of what the Bible says. Verse 3. For this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. So this is the most high's love, is keeping his commandments. That's the only way you can love him and show him that you love him. By rehearsing his law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. Let's go to 2 John. Um, two and, uh, 2 John 1 and 6, and we're in this thing. Let's go to 2 John 1 and 6, and we're in right here. And this is love. That we walk after his commandments. So this is love. That we walk after his commandments. So if you want to walk in love. Then you got to what? Walk in his commandments. You got to rehearse his law, statutes, and commandments. This is the commandment. That as ye have heard from the beginning. Ye should walk in it. You, these Nothing has changed. These are the same commandments from the beginning. Like he said, it's over 600 of them. And that's why you should rehearse them to the best of your ability. Because didn't, uh, matter of fact, what, he, what the Most High say in, um, I think it's in Malachi. Malachi 3 and 6. Malachi 3 and 6. Look what Yahweh said. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. The only reason these Edomites, so-called white men in the other nations, couldn't annihilate us off the face of the earth because the Most High Yahweh doesn't change. He's not going to never get rid of his people, so we're not going to never be consumed. So if he doesn't change, that means his law, statutes, commandments doesn't change. So in order to walk in love, you got to do what? Walk in his law, statutes, commandments. You got to rehearse them to the best of your ability. Let's end right here, matter of fact. I think it's Judges 5 and 20. I think this is, might be it. Let me see. Oh, Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of drawing waters. See, a place of drawing water is it's a place of uh, captivity. And that's what America is. It's a place of drawing waters, which means slavery. All right. And the noise of those archers are what? Those thermonuclear missiles. So the Bible says uh, they that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of drawing water, there where they delivered from, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh. So here in America, in our captivity, and, and in the four corners of the earth at that, well, the places we've been driven to, you know, we should be rehearsing the law, statutes, commandments if we want to be delivered when Yahweh Shai, Michael the Archangel, and the angels return. So I don't know what Cleflo is talking about. So I just want to say death unto Cleflo, T.D. Jakes, and the rest of them, unless they repent and come back to the Most High. Yahweh. Shalom, Yasha Ella. Let's rehearse these laws, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability. And let's get out these churches, man. That's why, you, man, Salaka, give me a chance. Give me a sec. Let me go here. That's why you got to get out these churches, man. That's why the scripture says this right here. Acts 7 and 47. But Solomon built him a house. Verse 48. How be it the most high, Yahweh, dwell it, not in temples made with hands. As said the prophets, the Most High Yahweh or His Son Yahweh Shai is not in none of these churches. You is the you are the temple. You the temple that He's in. He's not in none of these buildings, man. 
So y'all need to get out that Christianity and come back to these lost statutes commandments. Come back to Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shah, and we re rehearse these lost statutes commandments to the best of your ability. Shalom, Israel.